If you plan on upping your Thanksgiving game, I recommend you brine before you roast. <laughs> Hang on. Um. Maybe we should just eat the turkey. <laughs> no way. Hi everyone, welcome back to Better with Brigetta. Today we're talking turkey. I have a 10 pound turkey that we're gonna brine because we wanna keep it moist and flavorful and then we're gonna roast it in the oven. All right, now we're at the stove and we're going to add our chicken broth. We need a gallon, sorry, not chicken broth, vegetable broth. This is all for brining the turkey. And we want regular broth. We do not want low salt or no salt. Got half a cup of light brown sugar. We've got a cup of kosher salt. Tablespoon of black pepper. Half a tablespoon of allspice and ground ginger. We're gonna bring this to a boil. Have to stir it to get everything to come together. All right, our pot has come to a rolling boil. And all our ingredients have dissolved. We're going to turn our burner off. And we need to let this brine cool to room temperature. Because our next step is going to be adding water and ice and then our turkey. And we do not want to add our turkey when our brine is still hot. Otherwise, it's gonna start cooking the turkey and we don't want that. Driving down the boulevard Cruising with the windows down Feeling like we were on this town Your song is on the radio The one you always like The one that always gets you psyched We've been drinking all the cheap wine all night Acting stupid but it feels so right I know that we will all be just fine But tonight I just want Our turkey is finished brining and it's out of the brine and now I'm drying it. So we're drying all the way around all the parts before I put it in the roasting pan. So include it on the inside. Now I'm going to be putting things inside the turkey just again to help with moisture and flavor but you don't Okay, good. I've got the wings tucked underneath. I've got the legs right here. Oh, but before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and put things inside. I've got thyme. I've tied it together so it'll be easier to take out. And I cut up one lemon. 
Again, this is just going to help keep it moist, juicy, and flavorful. And I also have a shallot too, I'm gonna to stick inside. Okay, now I've got four tablespoons of butter that I'm gonna rub on the turkey. You want to be sure to coat all the parts of the turkey. All right, so I'm going to tie the legs together. Okay, I'm going to continue putting the butter on and spreading it around. This will help create a nice coating. I want to try and get all the parts here. It's going to go into a 325 degree oven. Now, that, the amount of time it's in the oven will vary on the size of your turkey. This is a 10 pound turkey. It's going to be about two and a half to three hours. About two thirds of the way when it's done cooking, we're gonna tent it with some aluminum foil so the top doesn't burn. The last step before it goes in the oven is we're gonna add some chicken broth. And again, it's gonna help with flavor and keep the turkey moist. But I need to take my gloves off first. Now we're gonna put it in the oven. If you plan on upping your Thanksgiving game, I recommend you brine before you roast. Thanks friends. Time to dig in. All right. Mm. This is good. The holidays are upon us. It's not too salty. I think it's just right. It's moist. It's delicious. Thanks for watching. What we'll see you, you next time. <laughs> on the counter, you are in big trouble. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I say we keep it all in. Aww. Hello, baby. Dora. She wants turkey too. Come on, I'll get you some turkey kibble.